Ron O'Hanley, President and CEO of State Street Global Advisors. Nice to see you at the Milken Institute Global Conference. Nice to be here, Rhonda. Thank you. You were speaking on a panel on asset management. So one interesting aspect of your business has been the proliferation of ETFs. They've exploded. You can get an ETF for every single thing out there. What's the next evolution in ETFs in your view? Well, you're accurate in describing where we are now in the marketplace. There's an ETF for almost everything, and we're in this product proliferation phase, which in many ways is similar to what we saw in the late 80s in mutual funds, where companies like Vanguard and Fidelity had put out lots of innovative product um, and a mutual fund for everything. What we're entering now is, uh, is what I would call use cases or how to employ ETFs either rise of ETF models uh, and robo-advisors for individuals and for institutions, how do you think about using ETFs to uh, address problems like lower liquidity in markets like high yield, like futures? So um, it's, it's, it is a new age and it's much more about working with investors and how to use these things in a way to help them achieve their portfolio objectives. Since you mentioned robo-advisors, do you consider robo-advisors a threat to your business? There's certainly competition, um, and I, I certainly think that any time you have a new entrant, uh, you need to be careful and you need to be responsive to them. But I view robo-advisors in some ways as expanding the market and bringing in maybe people that wouldn't be there before, making other channels more competitive. But also, I think where this will settle out is you'll have standalone robo-advisors, but you'll also have a robo-offering within multi-channel financial services organizations. So I could imagine a Merrill Lynch or Morgan Stanley having a robo-offering as part of their distribution strategy. Can those robo-advisors help bring in millennial investors because they have been late to investing in the stock market? There seems to be a different approach to Wall Street than perhaps their parents had. Yeah. Well, I think, I think the answer is yes. And, um, it's, you know, people will say it's not showing up in the numbers yet, but remember, you know, the biggest savers tend to be you know, the 50-year-olds or the, you know, the 50 pluses, 60 pluses. So there's a ways to go in that. But what, uh, what's appealing to millennials is, one, a terrific user interface. So you can interface with the institution like you interface with everything else, you know, on your tablet, on your iPhone. Uh, and secondly, I think there is a general distrust of institutions and therefore a desire to have a lot of transparency about how things are working, and robos achieve that. Rhonda Hanley, great to chat with you here in L.A. Thank you, Rhonda.